Hopefully I could drop that for y'all. I've been doing a lot of stuff. It looks like this. It's probably my favorite kind of slacks. Oh. Bootleg compared to this one. This one got all these stickers. Cheesecake um, frappe. No, that sounds like a TikTok drink. It definitely is a TikTok drink. That is pink. But I'm gonna put it in a separate video. Can I miss you? Can I miss you? Bitch, but we ain't talking about no weed. Only three, five. Oh, my nigga ain't cheap. It's our team, and you turn me to a freak. I'm a ride and go back till you put that kid. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Jasmine, and I'm back. I barely have been on YouTube. Mmm like posting the content that y'all want to see posting the content that i want to post i have been in a few videos i also did a fake video that y'all keep sending me which if you've seen it then whatever i didn't really sign no paperwork but i got paid to do the video some of y'all seen that what else well y'all know i'm in school and i got like two jobs plus i'm trying to get the clothing line back and running basically rebranding my clothing line i had a clothing clothing line last year it went pretty good i actually started it 2021 and then i stopped last year because i wasn't i feel like i wasn't dropping enough clothes back to back to back and like doing enough drops for it to go up i'm working on it this year 2023 and hopefully i could drop that for y'all i've been doing a lot of stuff i bought an ipad for no reason well not really for no reason but i'm gonna try and use it for everything i don't know editing and stuff i'm also in college still I'm a finance major, y'all, so I have been so stressed and busy. I'm supposed to graduate next year, May. College is almost over for me. I've just been really, really busy, and now I am back on YouTube. I'm about to try and juggle school, YouTube, my clothing line, and my jobs, my two jobs. So if you're girl not posting like that, that's why, because I be busy and in school. It is 5... 40 y'all not gonna be able to see it whatever it is thursday january 5th it's 5 40 in the morning a.m i just left the club we left there and we went to rebel rebel atlanta that was cool then we went to babylon after hours but that one really talk about nothing babylon closed at six and that is why i am still out and up and if my club closed we're about to get dressed go get breakfast go to work then whatever the else we finna do for the day. I suck at vlogging. I'm trying to get back in the groove of this. So y'all know this is my closet. I really have to wear like business. Ooh, hold on. I really gotta wear like business casual or I could just wear a Mercedes Benz shirt. I probably just go business casual today because I don't want to wear a Mercedes Benz shirt. So we're gonna do white, this white blouse. I'm going to do, we're going to do these, we're going to do these navy blue pants. Alright, so I already showed, ooh, I'm all up in the camera, but I already showed y'all what I'm going to wear, that white blouse, the little office shirt or whatever, and then the blue slacks. I'm going to take a shower, and then I'm going to get out, get dressed, brush my teeth, pump perfume, grab my stuff and then we're gonna go get breakfast today i'm gonna go to starbucks if not starbucks dunkin donuts but i don't really want dunkin donuts so hopefully starbucks is open let me get in the shower get out get dressed brush my teeth and i'll get back to y'all okay so i just got dressed for work i like this shirt just like a regular white i don't know office blouse business girl blouse business girl blouse something like that something cute I ain't got no butt in these pants because they slacks but I put on these office like navy blue pants slacks oh my god they haven't been wearing this Valentino I like this one so if you go to the store and you get Valentino perfume get the green one that looks like this it's probably my favorite kind. But I like how this one smells. It's like, I like mine a little, it ain't masculine, but at the same time, it's not fruity. 
It's just strong as shit. It smell like shit. It smell like perfume. Now I'm good to go to work. I'm like the youngest person in the office. I'm the only 20 year old that works in the business administration office. Everybody else is like 27, 26, in 30s, and in their 40s. Some of them might even be in their 50s, but they old. What I'm bringing to work is my iPad, my iPad Pro. This looks like with the little pen. Bring my devotional. I'm trying to read not really a Bible. Well, it has Bible verses in here. So I guess this is like a Bible verse a day. But if you don't have a devotional, you should. I feel like it helps me start my day a little bit better sometimes. So I'm bringing my devotional to work, my MacBook Pro, and then this is my planner for the week, well, for the year. I'm gonna put the link to this planner in the description box below. In the inside, I just feel like this is the neatest planner I have because the rest of them are like ghetto and bootleg compared to this one. This one got all these stickers out of the office from whenever I'm not in the office. These stickers say, remember to. Then they also have stickers with check boxes. It says ASAP, like to do ASAP. Um, I already started using some of them, like the Bill Do sticker, follow-up stickers, pink, um, pink appointment stickers, they got hearts, birthday celebration stickers. So, in this video, it's going to be an Amazon link. I bought it off of Amazon. I think it was like $20, but to me, it's worth it. It comes with a lot of stuff in the back. And everything's just really, really organized. Plus, it's cute. They got three different versions. I think they got a $10 version. So, if you didn't want to get the big notebook, you could get a $10 version. So, this, all my little Apple products, and my devotional, bringing all of this to work. And now we're about to go to Starbucks and get a Frappuccino because your girl about to pass out because she's tired of shit. Y'all literally. Y'all literally cannot see me, so, but I'm in the car. I'm on the way to Starbucks. I'm about to turn on this little light. This shit is so bright. I'm gonna put the link to this light in the description box below because mm -hmm, this light is some pressure. Like, it's six o'clock in the morning and this light is bright as hell, making it look like it's bright outside. But um, let's try and find Starbucks, y'all, because I can't find it. Ooh, don't let my camera slide. I knew it was gonna slide. I just looked on TikTok for the drink that I wanna order, and I'm gonna try the strawberry cheesecake if they make it. If they don't make it, oh well, we're gonna find something else to make or to get. But it looked like the strawberry cheesecake frappe was trending. That's what I wanna try. I like uh, strawberry anyway. Hello? Just a moment, please. Okay. Speaker all the way back there. I don't pass it. Thank you for choosing service. Is your name? What's your name? Jasmine. What am I doing for you? Um, can I get the um, egg sandwich? Okay. And then, can I also get a cheese danish? Yeah. And then, do you guys have a strawberry cheesecake um, frappe? No, that sounds like a TikTok drink. If you have the recipe, we can make it, but we don't have things like that. It's just not it definitely is a TikTok drink. Okay, so they have the um the recipe. So I just want the medium size. I think that's what grande. Mm -hmm. And then let me get the strawberry cheese. Oh, I mean four scoops of the vanilla bean, three pumps of white mocha, and three pumps of cinnamon dulce. Um, hopefully I did that right. <laughs> um, that's all. Alright, Apparently it's a TikTok drink and you have to tell him, hi, the ingredients, but on this TikTok, she basically pinned the ingredients, but somebody said, somebody in the comments on this TikTok said, this is just straight sugar and that they don't like it. 
My camera is on 2%. Thank you. Thank you. So this is what it looks like. Have a nice one. This is what it looks like. It's not as pink as the girls drink in her video. Let me try it for y'all. But I'm about to put the camera down because it keeps falling and it's about to die anyway. So I'm going to have to record on my phone for the rest of the day. But... It does taste like fucking sugar and cinnamon. I think I should have got less cinnamon because I got a smaller drink cup size. So I probably only should have got a little bit of cinnamon. But I like it. Go try it. Y'all could probably find a better um, recipe for it. But I'm about to go. I will record on my phone when I get to my job. And I'm on the way there. I'm like 15 minutes away. Camera's about to die, so jazz out the bit for now. <laughs> All right, y'all. So my camera kind of died, but I just made it to work. I normally park inside, like underneath this tunnel over here. I've only been here for three months so far in the office, and I just come here do paperwork and leave. So I'm about to go inside. So I gotta walk all the way down there, and I will leave here whenever I finish my work. Alright y'all, so I made it to work. Well, I made it to my office, to my desk. Not really office. I'm in an office, but I have my own desk. So this is my desk. I'm watching a movie right now while I do my work. But let me flip the camera. So this is basically my setup. The folders, paperwork goes over here. This is my heater. The phone. And then I have a double screen computer that I work on. Basically, today I'm just doing indemnities and I have to go into my email and that's where I find the list. I can't show y'all my emails, but this is the list that I'm going off of for the game coming up at the stadium 0108-2023, which is this Sunday, the 8th, January 8th. And yeah, I just basically got to do indemnities. And yes, I do work. Um, I don't just sit here and watch TV all day. The indemnities are gonna take me about, I don't know, five hours today to do. So that's why I have my tablet because I'm trying to stay up. I can't really show too much, but it's pretty simple, pretty easy. I also plan on doing some other stuff on my iPad related to like my vision board and just um, getting organized. I'm gonna start that at like 12 p.m. It's 7.30 right now. So yeah, I'm gonna just finish up my indemnities and then I will get back to y'all. And mini update on this drink. Um, I didn't really like it. So I give it a six out of 10. It was too sweet and then the flavor went away i forgot to add strawberry syrup y'all so if you do the recipe make sure you add strawberry syrup i don't think i did this right at all but whatever i just got out the shower that's why i'm wrapped up in the towel with my bonnet on and my makeup off but i didn't record myself leaving work or anything because like i told y'all my camera was dead by the time i even got to work so I literally had that footage on the iPad and I didn't want to keep recording on the iPad. But the iPad quality wasn't bad either. I just, it's too big, so I didn't feel like recording anything else. So yeah, I left work, came home, took my makeup off, and I took a shower. And now I'm about to get ready for bed. <laughs> Thank you.
So these are the two packages that I have to install. Well, wig, hair, promo, whatever you want to call it that I got to install. Not show my address, but it came from, or they shipped it with DHL. I know most of the hair companies be in China. So let's open them. This one is Eula Hair. They sent me tape in. Curly tape in. So I don't know. I'd show y'all everything, but since I gotta make a video, I'ma just save it for the video. But they sent me tape in. And then this one is DYH hair. Do your hair. I guess that's what that stands for. Maybe. I should probably find out what it stands for. And they sent me a wig. I like this one for real. Another curly wig. But the next video I'm going to be doing is how I'm going to reorganize everything for 2023. Organizing my life with this green app and this pink app. The habit tracker and this is a budget tracker. Damn, work. Okay, yeah. So, this one's the budget planner. And this one is the habit thing. And the other, I'm going to do it tonight, but I'm going to put it in a separate video by itself. You get to say what your paychecks are. Then you get to input electricity, like all your bills, rent, all that. And it's just going to tell you what to spend, what you have left to spend, what you can't spend on this break it all down for you so the budget thing i find cool but that's for another video so that's that i don't feel like leaving the house and i also don't feel like eating what's in here already your girl just gonna have to door dash or get the food sent here or something somebody needs to bring me food that's what somebody need to do comment below which i'll be ordering off a of door dash wherever you live somebody need to bring me food y'all know who need to bring me food i just linked with him the other day but we ain't talked since i linked and did that video with him y'all should already know who i'm talking about y'all think i should call him so if you're not up to speed up to date I linked with Ken. I was a little nervous because I haven't, I hadn't seen him in so long, like in a few months. So that was my first time seeing him, and then he was just like, "Oh, we should just do a little truth or drink while I'm here." So he linked, and then we did the video, and um, I don't know, it was cool. And then he left, and I haven't really talked to him since since he left. So I think I should just ask him to bring me food. Or tell them I miss them. I don't know. We finna just call. No, I don't want to call. I'm going to call. Should I call? Why do I like this? Like, I've known this man for since 2020. I met him in 2020. It's 2023. And I'm still jittery to call him. I haven't seen you since we did that video um, the other day. I kind of miss you. It's been three days. <laughs> okay. Really, you really miss me? Yes, I miss you. Uh, you ain't never called me and said you miss me. Ken, I miss you. Like, for real. I miss you too. 